So it's wine time on the patio, and today I'm featuring two wines from Chateau Philly in France. Currently, I'm taking a course in French wines uh, from this particular vineyard, and so I thought I would share some of the features of their wines with you today. So I have two different wines here. These are both white wines. So this one is called Sincerité, and this is a uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And you all know Sauvignon Blanc, I think. Now this one is called Generosité, and this one is a blend. It's mostly Simeon. It's 80% Simeon, and then 20% Sauvignon Blanc. So Simeon is a grape we don't hear a lot about in the U.S. Uh, particularly, but it is a French Bordeaux grape. So Simeon and Sauvignon Blanc are both grapes that are grown in the Bordeaux region of France used to make the white Bordeaux wines. Now Simeon is usually a blender and often is blended with the Sauvignon Blanc, but we're going to take a look at these wines and I'm going to put a background behind them so you can take a look at the color. So look at the colors of these two wines and you can discern something immediately. So the Sauvignon Blanc is very clear, very light in the yellow color. And then you notice that the Generosité is a little bit of a darker color. So that's your Semillon Sauve Blanc blend. Now there's some reasons behind this. A lot of times uh, when I do my wine tastings here on the patio, I talk about some of the different colors of the wine or I, I mention it, but I don't really go into depth. So just to take a look at these two, this is a good example. Sauvignon Blanc, this one has been aged in stainless steel. So it spent its whole life in stainless steel as it was fermenting, and it didn't take any, any color from that. Now this particular wine, the Simeon Sauve Blanc blend, was aged in oak barrels. I believe it was for about 18 months. So once it hits the barrels, then it takes on also different aspects and including color from the barrel and color from the aging. So as white wine ages, no matter how light or yellow it comes out, as it ages, it will get darker, more toward golden colors and eventually toward brown colors as the white wine ages. And that's perfectly normal and happens. Now some wines age are better aging than others, but certainly the color is affected by this. So when you taste Sauvignon Blanc, and like I said, most of you are familiar with that wine, when you smell it and taste it, you're going to get a lot of uh, citrus notes. It's going to be very zesty, very crisp, and that's a normal feature for Sauvignon Blanc. And it is best served chilled, definitely. Now this Semillon blend is a little bit, and it's been aged, or again, remember that. So it then changes the dynamic. So now you're going to get, I smell sort of baked apple, maybe a little bit of apricot, and then I also get from the barrel you get oftentimes like vanilla, uh, in this case I feel like it's vanilla, maybe caramel, maybe sort of creme brulee, so it's really nice. So these are both really lovely wines, and I'll be featuring some more wines from Chateau Philly as we go along because I've got a bunch of wines to experiment with and to enjoy with their classes. So today it, I have a Sauvignon Blanc and I have a Semillon Sauvignon Blanc blend from that particular winery and I'm going to enjoy wine time on the patio. Cheers.